Como estas? Today is July 6, 2011. You know summer is here and all those hooligans have been out and about the city working hard and leaving their shithead marks all over the town. Stickers, paste ups, and even good old fashioned graffiti. There's a lot going on, so let's get to it! If graffiti artists are known for anything, it's their overwhelming insecurities. And the best way to get past these insecurities is with an overinflated ego. The kind that comes when you write your name on lots of stuff that doesn't belong to you and then pretend it's important. Well, this whole attitude of, hey, hey, look at me, is the very thing that drives street art and graffiti culture right along. And what better way to get noticed than by going big? That's right, big is in this season, as Brooks Golden showed us with this recent piece. So it's like a bear with some pet owls or something. I hate to tell you, but that doesn't really make sense. It's sort of like some weird half cow man. Oh, right. Like this one that Tiptoe did. Well, I don't really get it, but at least they're big. Then of course we have Don't Fret. Don't Fret. He's sort of like Goons' understudy. Hello? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, what? Wait, wait, what's this? You're, you're telling me that Goons is sick? And you want me to fill in for him? <laughs> well, sir, I've only got two words for you. Don't fret. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir. Yes. Well, at least he got the memo about going big. Gigantic pay steps always bring out the skaters. Snack attack. Now to spice things up a little bit this year, Chicago participated in an artist exchange program. Two lucky artists were chosen at random to enjoy a round trip vacation package to New York City, where they had the chance not only to meet and greet with fellow artists, but also had a one day stay in one of the city's most luxurious facilities. In return, Chicago has now had an influx of out of town guests. And remember the theme this summer is go big, go big or go home. Or in Guy's case, go big then go home. He whisked into town, put up lots of giant paste ups, then had a really shitty gallery show. But not to be shown up, Shepard Ferry did the same thing a month later. Both received warm Chicago welcomes. Oh, wait. No, they didn't. Some clever, jealous person screen printed FedEx posters and put them up over all of Gaia's stuff. A witty comment on just how easy it is to push a copy machine button. And a similar but not clever or witty way at all, Bandit went over all the Obey posters. And then when he ran out of posters, he went up on walls that Shepard had only thought about pasting up on. Yeah, take that, all you talented out-of-towners. You only care about us because Banksy keeps doing all these awesome street stencils. And then there's the artist Roa. He's also avoided getting his stuff gone over. Must be that cute smile or the charming accent. You know, I kind of want to make fun of him like we do everyone, but what can you say? His stuff is fucking rad. You know, he basically travels around the world painting dead animals on stuff. He's from Belgium. Sometimes he paints live animals, but mostly dead animals. Always big and always black and white. I'll take him over Banksy any day of the week. Snack attack! And now it's time for a brand new segment! Some say it's the best, some say it's the worst. But we want to know who's been tagging on 31st! TDM, bitches! That's who's tagging on 31st. Alright, now last episode we got some flack for only showing Northside graffiti. Well, in case you didn't notice, I happen to be a white, middle-class asshole who thinks he's better than everyone, so of course I stay on the north side. But, for all you complainers out there, we decided to lug our camera crew down to 31st and Morgan to see what's up! It didn't take long to find the official south side logo. Mm-hmm. This is what my mother warned me about. Stay off the south side, kids. To get there, we took this thing called the Orange Line. And graffiti right on the train. Let's start with stickers. We found some old stuff. We found some new stuff. We found some whatever stuff. And then we found some political stuff. And how about this guy? Don't let the cops find that sticker when they're searching your backpack. Now, we didn't find anything too amazing on the south side. Get it? Mostly it was stuff like this. But we did find a cool rocked out truck. Nice! And here are a couple spots not far from the Ashland Orange Line stop. You know, I used to think those little worm W things were stupid. Ah, uh, but they kind of won me over. Word up, worm! One liners! Last episode, we poked fun at a lot of different artists, and that's a trend that's not going to change. I'm sorry, but if you have a name this stupid, or if you do artwork this bad, then someone's gonna make fun of you. But of course, when it is deserved, we will give mad props. Gotta start out with my fave, Hanksy. Okay, do I really need to explain why this is awesome? All right, here goes. First of all, it combines the worlds of graffiti and street art. It's well placed in a high profile area. It's absolutely hilarious. It makes fun of graffiti culture and therefore makes fun of itself. And of course, by making fun of another well-known artist, it is using the medium of graffiti to reference itself. 
This is next level stuff. This is awesome. This is smart. It's funny. It's awesome. Um, did I mention it's awesome? Thumbs up. A well done crew shout out is always appreciated as well, especially if it uses three or more colors. Both of these have nice lines, nice colors, and their own defined style. Thumbs up. And what about mental? Who would have thought that little fucking vandal would end up making such awesome art pieces? These are colorful, inspiring, interesting, creative, and a real fucking treat to see as you cruise down random streets. This is the type of shit that takes art movements to the next level. Oh, and they're big! A drippy SARS is always good. A random stencil is always good. What else can I say? If you do something dumb like this, then I'll make fun of it. And if you rock a fucking rooftop like this, I'll get down and suck your dick or lick your pussy because you fucking deserve it. Still not clear? Okay, if you do something like this, then I'm bored. But rock one like this, and I'll let you fuck me in the ass and call me baby. Look out, it's a snack attack! Yes, bigger is better, or so they say, but sometimes it's the little things they count. Shout out to this week's featured alley tagger, that crazy mofo simply known as Heart Attack! to hand the show over to my co-host, Mr. Buckley. Hey there, boys and girls. Thank you for joining us today. Who wants to play a game? Yeah? Well, this one's a favorite of mine. It can be played anytime you leave the house, and points are awarded for creativity. Are you ready? Then let's play Name That Crew. Oh my Nancy. It's gotta be. Cyro, your fancy noodles. I wanna dance. Bad. Babies aren't dead. What cats kill? Cats water themselves. EHC. Elephant Head Company. VTC. Vegans take control. TFS. This for suckers. Can't make kangaroos. Ain't I careful? Thanks for Alicia. And finally, before we get out of this bitch, we gotta give it up to EDSK. I haven't seen too much of them on the south side, but they've been slaying it on the north. From rooftops to street sides, them motherfuckers are all over the place. Word up! One final snack! That's it, douchebags. Live long and fuck you. And always remember to boldly go where no one has gone before. Peace.